In this week's Signal Minute, first release of the year, Godo Tomorrow is back, Gozen Alpha release, and this week we also have our add some add ons, our game of the week, and tip of the week. Welcome to Signal Minute, your weekly news video for Godo related news. I'm Voilin and welcome to 2026. The Godot version 4.6 has a new beta, beta 3. This is the first release from Godot in 2026 that we're seeing. And later this month we can also expect the first actual release candidate for this new version. But right now we're only about 77% of the way there with yet over 700 issues and pull requests which are yet to be closed. If you have some spare time on your hands, how about giving bug fixing the Godot engine a go? <laughs> I already made a small PR to fix one of the many bugs, but I hope I find some time and energy to make some more. And for the people who need video playback in Godot, GD Gozen got updated to version 9, which brings a lot of improvements such as support for some of the alpha type videos. There's now also chapter support, macOS Intel support, and now we also have a static build. And of course, this update not only comes with new features, but it also comes with a big performance improvement. Since right now, the audio of videos isn't fully loaded into memory anymore, which is a very big increase in performance when loading in new videos. You can check out the entire change log with the link in the description. And a quick mention to the Godot Tomorrow live streams as they have started again. Godot Tomorrow is a weekly live stream series of Emmy from the Godot Foundation in which you learn more about the behind the scenes of Godot. And it also provides a great way to interact and ask questions about Godot directly. And in other news, Gozen, the video editor which is being made with Godot, has gotten a new alpha release. Finally! This update took quite a long time since the entire timeline was being remade using the draw function in Godot as the previous approach used a node based approach which caused some issues. A lot more changes got made to Gozen with a full list which can be found in the link in the description. And let's go over to game of the week. For this game of the week I bring to you a game about feeding a black hole which has been developed by Arimus and Tornitico. I hope I pronounced this correctly. And um, yeah, I don't really know what else I can say as the name of this game basically says what it is. It is an incremental game about feeding a black hole by destroying asteroids, planets and stars. By upgrades and try the different game modes. And also keep feeding the black hole. There will be a link in the description for you to check out. And then for add some add-ons, I have an add-on which I have featured last year, but it is worth bringing up again since I missed an important update which happened like a month, two months ago. Terabrush moved away from C Sharp and is now made with C++ as a GD extension. This is great because now you no longer need the .NET version of Godot in order to use Terabrush, which I can imagine was a long and painful journey to make that transition. There are a couple of extra new features as well which got added but I would recommend that you just go ahead and try out this GD extension as it is probably one of the best terrain editing tools available for the Godot game engine. And then it's time for the oh so beloved tip of the week. Have you ever tried to connect a function to a signal but you ran into the issue that the signal is being emitted with arguments making you have to create an extra function just to discard the arguments from the signal. So you might know that you can use the bind method to add arguments to pass extra arguments to the function that you're trying to run when the signal is emitted but there's also a unbind function which you can add a number in uh, of how many arguments you want to unbind not pass to the function and yeah let me know your tips of using Godot in the comments below and maybe it'll appear in one of the next episodes and before I go a quick mention to all my coffee supporters thank you very much for your support I cannot keep making these videos without you guys and yeah I'll see you all next week in next week's signal minute if there is enough news so thanks for watching bye bye